bought this floor vent and it came with a whole bunch of adaptions. And one of the things that it has is this set of fins, the deflectors, are designed to mount down into a pocket. Well, I'm going to put this flat on the floor, so having it mount into a pocket just is not part of the deal. So I want to cut off these little pieces that are down below the vent. And to do that, I'm using this pull saw. It's a cobalt pull saw. Kind of a takeoff on a Japanese design. This is not exactly a very good one, but it's the one that I have. I don't necessarily like pull saws. But the thing that I'm using this one for is it doesn't have much set. So I'm able to cut right up to the flat part of the vent. not cut into the side of it. And even though this is a slow process, it's a heck of a lot faster than making one of these on my own. I'm going to try something a little faster. A little more risky, but a little faster. works better. I'm going to have to go back in and sand it. But it's a heck of a lot faster to do that even with the sanding than it is to keep nibbling at this thing. A couple of pieces of styrofoam in there keeps me from chewing up the surface of the finished part in the vise. Well, I'm getting into it just a little bit with that. Not enough to cause a problem, but I'm going to have to be more careful. Now we'll go over it with the DA. Because I have a problem with the dust from oak, it makes me really congested. I don't break out in hives or anything, but it does cause me lots of sinus issues. I'm gonna wear a dust filter. fuzzies on there. We'll just trim those off. A little bit of glue on there from the assembly. That's pretty cool. It's gonna look nice on the floor. The original grate was a piece of sheet metal. 
it's a box that goes up against the wall and comes out at a 45. It had a damper on it, so that was kind of nice. But it was big. You always caught your toe on it. In that little bathroom, anything on the floor, especially in a, in a tight space like that, you're constantly hitting your feet. So this is going to make it a lot easier. There's still a little bit of an edge there, but I don't think it's enough to catch your toe on. And it should make the room a lot more easy to get in and out of. Besides that, it looks a lot nicer than that old sheet metal piece. Now, I did clean up and paint the sheet metal one, but it just wasn't exactly the same. And for all you new guys here, I'd like to welcome you again to Old Sneelox Workshop. And let you know that if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, they'll tell you when the next video is coming up. A little reminder shows up. Also, we're on a schedule. Monday through Friday, we show up at 12 noon. Saturday and Sunday, it's 9 a.m. Hitting the like button lets me know that this video is one that you approve of. And it tends to make me think, hitting the like button lets me know this is a video that you approve of. So if you like this one, just click on the like button and you'll get to see more of them. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Now that I'm in, I've got this job done and my paint's hopefully dried out up there, I'll go back up and see if I can go on to the next step. 